Now let's count in thousandths. So first we have 0.623, so that's six tenths, two hundredths and three thousandths. If we count in thousandths we then have 0.624, then 0.625. What are the next seven numbers in this sequence? Well if we show them you can see that counting in thousandths is similar to counting in ones. The only thing we need to change is 0.630. That's usually just written as 0.63 because we don't need zeros on the end of decimals. And to see why not, let's count using the place value counters. So we can keep on counting in thousandths until we have ten thousandths. But when we get ten thousandths, we can exchange those for one hundredth because one hundredth is the same size as ten thousandths. But now you can see that we have six tenths, three hundredths and no thousandths. So rather than writing 0.630, we don't need to write the zero in our thousandths because 0.63 also tells us that we only have six tenths and three hundredths with no extra thousandths. Then we kept on counting in thousandths until we got to 0.632, so six tenths, three hundredths and two thousandths. Now we start with 0.795, so seven tenths, nine hundredths and five thousandths. Next we'll count 0.796, 0.797 and what are the next seven numbers in this sequence? Well we're counting in thousandths and that's similar to counting in ones except that when we get zeros on the end of decimals we don't need to write them. 0.8 is the same as 0.800 and to see why let's again count using the place value counters. So we started with 0.795 which we can see here if we keep on adding thousandths counters until we get to ten thousandths, we can then exchange those ten thousandths counters for one hundredth counter. So that means we have seven tenths and ten hundredths. But remember, if we've got ten hundredths counters, we can exchange those for one tenth counter because one tenth is the same size as ten hundredths. So then, we just have eight tenths counters, so that's why we can just write 0.8. Then we can keep on counting in thousandths, but we need to make sure that we write 0.801, because remember we're counting in thousandths, not in hundredths. We keep on counting until we get to 0.804, so that's eight tenths, no hundredths, and four thousandths. Now we start with 2.593, so that's two holes, five tenths, nine hundredths and three thousandths. What will the next numbers in this sequence be? Well we can show them and again there's one value that we need to change because we don't need to write zeros on the end of decimals. So if we're counting in thousandths, we go from 2.599 to 2.6, then to 2.601. And again, we can use place value counters to explain that. If we keep on counting in thousandths until we get ten thousandths, we can exchange those ten thousandths for one hundredth. But now, doing that means that we have ten hundredths counters and ten hundredths is the same as one tenth. So now we have two holes and six tenths or 2.6. Then we keep on counting in thousandths, so we need to make sure that we have this zero in our hundredths and in the end we got to 2.602, so two holes, six tenths, no hundredths and two thousandths. Finally, we have 1.995, so one whole, nine tenths, nine hundredths and five thousandths. 
if we complete the sequence, you can see that we get 2.000. But if you have a decimal point and then zeros on the end of a number, you have a whole number. So 2.000 is just the number 2. And we can see that again if we count using the place value counters. We started with 1 whole, 9 tenths, 9 hundredths and 5 thousandths. We kept on adding thousandths, but then when we got to 10 thousandths, we had something that's the same as 2 wholes. To see that, spot that if we have 10 thousandths, we can exchange those 10 counters for 1 hundredth counter. But now we have 10 hundredths counters, and we can exchange those for 1 tenth, because 1 tenth is the same as 10 hundredths. But now we have 10 tenth counters, and 10 tenths is the same as 1 whole. So that's why we have 2 holes altogether now. Notice we were just exchanging here. We were just exchanging 10 of one place value for one of the place value to the left, and we did that three times, so that's why after 1.999, when we added just one more thousandth counter, we got two holes. Then we can keep on counting in thousandths until we get to 2.004, so that's two holes and four thousandths. And it's important that we remember to write zeros in our tenths and hundredths because we're counting in thousandths and the thousandths digit always has to be the third digit after the decimal point. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now, I'll see you in the next video.